Good morning, Michelle. I've just got up and it's been raining a little bit here. Some cute little mushrooms growing there. Um, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I've been working on. So these are the silver beet and there's Lucy. <laughs> um, yeah, so they've all gone to seed. There's not been enough water. Um, and in here I've got some zucchini, which I've been doing interesting things because they've been flowering and then the heads seem to have been falling off recently. I'm not sure why that's happening, but they look beautiful when they've got the flower. I don't know if that's something that needs to happen, but it's a bit of a shame if something's probably been eating it from the looks of it. Um, there's some wheat grass there. It look, it's looking a bit messy. Um, I put some like sweet peas in here. They're also a little bit dry, but I've been trying to water them. They look like they're about to sprout. Uh, here's some Brussels sprouts. Lucy's definitely wanting to get in on the video. Um, some gooseberries are over here. And I think they prefer the cooler climate, so it's just, they're quite like young plants that they're still putting out quite a lot of the berries. I haven't picked any yet. Um, and there's been putting little shoots off, which is really good. That was some more silver beet. It's like the red stem silver beet. Uh, I've got some more Brussels sprouts and the grass is taking over in a couple of spots, but pop some beetroot in here. And I think these little ones are a sort of wild type strawberry or a silver spinach, um, sorry, a strawberry spinach. Um, Lucy's right in where the carrots are. So first attempt I think I compacted too many seeds together but I did check recently and they're just really skinny and I popped spread a couple more out this way um, I had some clary sage seeds which I was really excited about and I popped them in here because this soil is really quite rich I transferred a zucchini plant not long ago and there's a beautiful flower there also popped some clary sage there because that soil is pretty good quality. This is one of the zucchinis. Further over here I had an attempt of some more beetroot and amongst some weeds I think pop some cabbages in here. So I'll take you around. Hey Lucy. Take you around to the back. So oh I want to mention that's my radish. It's really struggling. I think there's just one, one left. It's too hot. So behind my shed, oh, behind the shed, it's a bit of a disaster. It used to be really overgrown. Um, it's a lot of ferns have taken over. There's some, a lot of like jacaranda and other weedy type trees try to seed themselves in the rock so that's fun keeping on top of. So in other parts of the garden I have this shrub plant and I usually only have like one just one like little park blooming and I planted it in and it seems to have taken off because it's quite a rocky area. So I've done that over here recently too. Just popped a new one in. And there's a little bit of ground cover there. It's very rocky and bare at the moment. I'm just trialing and airing a few things. <clears throat> so I think this is some cabbage, which there's a lovely slug on. I'm going to have to work on like a garlic spray to keep some of the pests away. There are like lots of little ferns that are growing through here, which is really lovely. I love that the ferns just sort of take off. Now these are just some sort of weeds. Oh, they're just forever coming out and just pull them out through the root. Some more gooseberry here. So I'll just go up a little bit. Um, so I put broccoli and some cabbage and kale. So at this stage, they're all looking about the same. Uh, pretty sure that's a Brussels sprout. And I'm very surprised that they've actually grown in the rocks. Over here, 
I planted I think some more beetroot. I'm a different lucky the golden beetroot, but it was only a couple of days ago. The zucchini here are doing really good. Something that seems to work. Zucchinis grow really easily. Um, I think these possibly were a cabbage. Something's gone and had a nice nibble. I just really love, I know you probably have things like this in your garden. Just like the beautiful ferns that come up on their own. So down here, I think I've tried to plant a few more carrots. Just some like little seedlings coming up. It's only a couple of days ago. And in these bricks, like Bessa blocks, they've been pretty good place to put some seedlings. So I've just got them coming all along here. And there, that's why I've tried the watermelon. The seeds are a little bit on the old side, so nothing coming up yet except for those pesky purple weeds that seem to come up and I'm not sure what they are, they've got a fuzzy stem. So a few more down there. So I'm still working on this because it was all overgrown, like there's a tree there in the corner. Got to cut that down, but this was just swarming with weeds and this tree here had fallen down in the storm that we had earlier in the year. I've still got a lovely branch to get to cut down, but it's kind of made the area a bit interesting. Got a duck and dive, but there was so much um, sticks and like leaf litter and just the twigs were really weak. So you pick them up and they break. Just got a few left, like there was a vine here. There's quite a few vines and they get wrapped around the tree. So just the last bit for this area. I had put some carrots in here and some other bits and pieces, zucchinis. Um, so initially when I first tried out, I had put carabin and I can think that takes six years to mature. I put some cheer in, which I was really excited about. I have no idea where I popped it now. And I don't know what it's gonna really look like when it grows. Um, goji berries as well, I was really excited about that. There's quite a lot of like everlasting daisy. I put echinacea in. So I'm just kind of waiting to see what grows. That's a succulent a friend gave me. There's another succulent. I've got a banana tree uh, from a friend at work. And I've just cut them back because they've recently flowered. But this was my miniature rose bush. And that comes out bright red with the occasional white through. Now this is where I used to have the capsicums and they were they did really well but I've had to pull them out because it's similar to this passion fruit vine they just end up a bit uh, exhausted and dwindling so I had the last two of the passion fruit vine I picked off the other day so I'm trialing a couple of things here and honestly I've put so much things in I can't remember I know that's a zucchini and I'm pretty sure that's possible that could be a kale or a cabbage there's some more little ones here, some peas. And then I'm just battling with these like little vines that seem to take over and seed themselves or put roots down every couple of centimeters. So this is similar to what we we're showing at the back. It just starts off like as a little, its own like little seedling and it goes crazy. Um, I did trial this space, which is sort of overgrown with grass a few different veggies but this mustard greens it seems to be pretty resilient and something's enjoying eating it that is a problem again some but uh, you know I don't mind helping out the wildlife to a degree um, but this is really nice let's pop some coffee grounds on there and this is my peach rose I'm trying to get it there we go in focus that's the sorry that's not a miniature and hopefully that is about to send off some beautiful roses soon I have another little rose in here uh, it's just there 
but it, it was overwhelmed by this ground cover. It's really taken off. Also, this was just a tiny, struggling along little plant. Um, it was just one little stem, literally just popped the stem in and it's gone huge. I think this is a sort of um, like queen lavender, it's a native, I'm not entirely sure of the name of it, but when it flowers it puts off these beautiful purple, tiny little purple flowers. You can see just here, they're starting. There's a couple more through here. I just love it, it was really struggling. I got it through the council, they're giving away um, three native plants per household and it's sort of wound up on an angle but there's something about it I really love and where the tomatoes are I left a dedicated space here so they seem to be tickling along okay there's a couple hiding here in the fern and a couple down here so this plant sort of started on its own I just give it a lot of coffee grounds and fertilizer and I really tried to bulk this soil up so there's a couple of little things that are planted and I'm hoping with the rain it kicks along I think I put some broccoli in here and some kale and the weeds do take in which is a constant battle to pull out now here I'd pop some I think snowball cauliflower and I was just trialing it it's just in a funny spot I'm hoping it takes off um, over here, I've got a beautiful hibiscus tree. Just see them out there. And when some of them fall on the on the grass, they don't last very long, like in water. But they're just beautiful. I love the colour of them. They just reminds me like I'm in a Oceana island somewhere. It's starting to pick up rain a bit, so I'll get inside in a sec. So this was the original plant, so it's a tricolour and I'm not sure the name of it. So there's a different type of purple here, slightly lighter and a deeper rich colour. And the shoots just keep putting themselves out, um, even down on the grass here. I think some of them have got attacked from the lawnmower. But I've been trying to pull them out and put them in other parts of the garden so I don't need to buy more coverage. These weeds just keep coming up. Definitely getting on top of them but it's a constant thing. I'm not sure what you do to keep on top of your weeds. Um, quite a couple of years ago I popped in some Elysium and for how hot the summers get here, very impressed that there's any left. Just a bit of rain seems to kick them off again and I think this one also was just started as a little shoot so if you could get hold of any of that if you wanted some coverage now this is my little kitty just come out in the rain slightly just spitting you say hi to Michelle Pippi hello Pippi good girl oh. <clears throat> I'm not very good at taking selfies um, so I hope you can see my face. I'm just going to go back inside because it is starting to rain a bit. Um, there's just one other bit I want to show you near the clothesline. It's okay, give me one sec. So there's this little area here which was just a dirt pole. Um, and I just felt like it needed something. So I just popped this. Uh, it's like a rainfall but it's like a silver plant. And it looked like it would just be cold climate preferred but it seems to have taken off so that's nice because it's just absolutely nothing there um, there's a little area over by this shed here that keeps growing lots of weeds and I'm trying to get some poppies growing there um, so these little pansies are grew from seed they seem to be pretty happy just in the pot there I've bought a flower press recently so I'm really hoping well it should arrive in a couple of days I just want to be able to preserve a couple of them I had some warrigal greens here and all the shoots that come off it, <laughs> Pippi's back here, um, just seem to have gone really soggy from the rain and maybe it doesn't like too much rain and they broke off so I've just pulled them back hoping they'll grow back 
I know with the warrigal greens I like to be picked regularly. It's not looking too good. I tried um, planting some warrigal seeds up in the first area. This is the cat grass. I'm hoping Pippi gets into that at some stage. She's not being too interested. And I've got a few more zucchini and over here. Put a couple more carrots and zucchini and I think some more kale. I'll just kind of given that a bit of a test to see what will grow where so I will give you an update um, on the front and this is a very rough first video and I've just got up but it was so lovely to see your videos and really lovely to see your face and um, yes it is very challenging time so I'm gonna see every day is different I hope you're keeping well and my love to you and to Luca and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.